just this? Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another unboxing and this one is one that I am super duper, super duper stoked to share with you guys. This thing popped up on my Instagram. I slid as always into Witchy Vintage's DMs and I was like, how much do you want for that? I don't wanna to give too much away because this is a very, very special piece and I'm really, really excited about it. Kinda of wanna get straight into it. It's only one garment that we have in here. Let's just get into it, guys. Let's just unbox this box. I'm so excited. open up. Ah, she's so, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, look. Look at this gorgeous thing. Oh, so good. Either like a hat pin or a hair pin with delicious paste in it, paste stones. Very, very pretty. I love it. Now, the precious. And the precious. Okay, gentle, gentle. We have beading, some gorgeous satin. Oh my, a little musty. Some chiffon. Woo! Oh, she's holding up well, she's not leaking too badly. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Welcome to first class in the Titanic, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got our own rose dress and it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, 11 year old me is dying right now. Oh, Jack Dawson, I'm ready for you. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the beating on this is insane. How did you survive this long? Oh my gosh, you should be dead. You should be shattered into a million pieces. This is, I should have known this. This should be in a museum. Oh, this is definitely not a wounded bird. Oh my goodness. I got nothing. I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's stunning. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I am living for this. I am just, I am, I am without words. She's got pink accents. Yes. We haven't even gotten to like the inside. I'm just here with this. We're just looking at the front right now, guys. We're just, just this. Oh. Oh, ah, 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 ah. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I can't even explain it to you all. I'm just, I. You are beautiful. I can't even. This is just stunning. It is just stunning. And I know we're tired of all black on this channel, but let me tell you guys, this is actually a couture piece. It has the label in it. It's not a worth. I know museums like the Met actually have stuff from the same design house in their collection. If it's good enough for the Met, right? <laughs> I am stunned right now because with everything that I have, I like wounded birds. I like homemade, you know, but we, we've seen a couple designer pieces with labels in them on this channel but when you open up something that is clearly designed, it just, it hits different. It just hits different. And this is just 
Chef's Kiss. It is definitely early teens. So we are talking Titanic era. We are talking, you know, Rose. We're talking first class on the Titanic. I, this obviously did not go on the Titanic. Just good life choices were made here. But this is definitely something that is meant to be worn in extremely nice occasions. We have the higher on pure waist that was trendy in the early teens. Black chiffon over top. This beading down the center front. A satin skirt. Cute little puffy sleeves with delightful silk satin ribbon trim that has a very pleasant pleating pattern. Then we have pink chiffon under sleeves that have come through delightful little tucks on them. Oh my gosh. More satin ribbon trim around the collar with the beading. The pink is coming through the black chiffon ever so slightly here at the chest area. So a little suggestive, you know, just a little something, something there, a little winky, winky, nudge, nudge, nudge. I'm going to probably guess this is around a 32, 34 inch bust. The waist obviously Obviously doesn't really matter, but we're probably cruising around a 24 inch waist here. All right, let's, let's just be, oh, you know what? Oh, I'm going to put this on pause. I need a second pair of hands for this. <laughs> I don't want to flip this by myself. She's, She's fine, she's made it in the mail, but I would prefer to have a second set of hands. So we're gonna go call a guest star real fast. Are you busy? Are you busy? No. I've opened up the baby. You're on camera right now, by the way. I'm on the phone with you. Um, I She's so precious and delicate and beautiful and perfect and loved and honored and cherished. I don't want to turn her by myself. I need a second set of hands. Okay. Because she's heavy. <laughs> yeah, so so let's wash those hands let's, and I'll, I'll go open up the door. <laughs> Okay, you'll be on camera, by the way. So I don't know if you need to like smack that face a little bit or something, but. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll figure it out. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, bye. One minute, 37 seconds later. I don't have a mic set up for you, I'm sorry. But look! I brought in a call over. Assistance was requested. <laughs> oh. I know, right? She packs a very big punch in person. I, yeah, the pictures didn't yeah. show any of the nice little pink chiffon or anything. Oh, I know. <laughs> she looks so much prettier. I know. <laughs> I know. I was like, well, I'm going to trust it because. She looks so sad hanging there on just a hanger. And oh. <laughs> no, she is. She is queen. So you can see we got beautiful silk satin down here. Mm -hmm. It is. Faced in wool, Oh, nice touch. And then her underskirt completely weighted all the way through like a chain and it's silk twill. So the silk twill lining is weighted. It's faced in wool. All the raw edges are bound by hand. I feel like 1910 is the pinnacle of construction. And then we yeah. just get like, it was simpler before and it was simpler after. Yeah. Like they just peak. The beading's actually in shockingly good condition. I don't know how the silk chiffon has survived. <laughs> she obviously was not on a hanger, like, cause if she was on a hanger, she'd be like, Bleh. I can't tell if the beads are metal or glass with this discoloration. I don't know, but we have some rot like oh, right they're, there. They're jet. So we have a little bit of, I don't know why they use brown thread for the beading, but here we are. Oh, uh, it probably um, ages. All, all the thread I've dealt with mm. tends to colorized yeah. like that. Well, it's just that some of it's still black. Mm. Only some of it's white, like brownish. Mm. So yeah, if it was all like, but it seems very like even in its discoloration. Oh, uh, it's just machine versus hand. Oh, see, she looks Or something like, or like that. Cause it's it's all of the, the little oh, seams right. that are tambored on, mm. whether it's by, I'm not sure if they had machines at that point, we do now, but the, yeah. the seed beads are done with a tambour. whatever sort of thread can stand up to the hook. I want to turn her so we can get into her. I'm just not sure the best way to turn her. 
Oh, and by the way, guys, again, for those of you who are unfamiliar, I know I've said this recently, but just for the sake of clarity, we're not wearing gloves, our hands are clean because we don't want to rip the chiffon. Oh, she's heavy right there. There we go. Okay, you got it? That there. Roll into two. There we go. It's like the disproportion of like weight and mm -hmm. volume of the fabric. I know, that's why I'm looking That's like what's so scary. The part. Yeah. Or the satin at least. Like, yeah. Never, <laughs> never pull from the chiffon. We don't manhandle this chiffon. The fact that it has survived is a miracle. Now the fun game of how do we get into this? Uh, okay, it's boned with baling. So for 19 teens, not too crazy so far. Okay, we have two layers of hooks. Oh, it's one of those that pop up that you have to... One eternity later. We've seen them on a couple of other really nice bodices where it's a hook, but it, it's like a carabiner almost. One of those like snap yeah. ones where you push it in and then it secures it. So it's a very secure hook. But where it is located right now is in and amongst a bunch of silk and chiffon. Uh, are these all? Oh my God, they're all hooked. Yeah, once we get these hooked, they're never being, like unhooked, we're never doing this again. This is where it like cues the old rose 84 years later. It's been 84 years. Okay, so first things first, it is made, I can't even read that from this angle. Cole, Cohen, Cole, Cohen hem. That looks like an E. Oh, okay. This is the stitches. Okay. Coquenham. Quo coquenham. Co 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 cock. Coquenham. Coquenham. 34 rue Chonset. 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 Paris. Oh shit. I took French all through high school. You would think I would remember how to pronounce this. It is couture. The inside is actually very clean compared to what you would see usually. A lot of the seams are finished. It is not the construction I expected on the inside. I thought that this would be one big piece, like the underbust bodice. It's very actually Regency in its construction where it's like the bodice up here was constructed and fit and basically completely finished. And then they did the additional lining skirt. And then, the, and then they built the black chiffon and beading over top of that. And they've like folded it up and then they bound that in ribbon that's been hand stitched. There's also splits at the seams. Also an additional layer of silk in here is just kind of around the underbust area and that one, it looks like it was just a taffeta or a file and that has shattered. So yeah, just like Dana Lauren. Huh. Ours is nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw down at the Museum of London. No regards. I'm like, something's weird about yeah. this and I don't know what it is. There's yeah. no boning in this bodice. There was boning at the center back, which was that piece of baleen that we've seen, but there's no boning in this bodice. It does still have the standard waist tape. This is Soft. Comfy. Yeah. And you know the weight would just be like, <sighs> like you'd walk in and be like, bam, bam. I look good. One detail I really, really like is that there is the little bit of lace with the drawstring in the neckline. So five panel skirt, two darts around the hips. So it shapes over the hips. And then, yeah, they did a layer of the silk chiffon over it. And they have the hooks in the eyes actually through the silk chiffon, which is why that was such one of the reasons it was such a beast to deal with. The skirt's attached at the waist. They're, the sleeves are not even set in with back stitches. The sleeves are set in with running stitches. <laughs> the sewing on this has was so delicate because it had to be, and now it's just like... 
couture gowns. They're very nicely finished, but you still see stitches in different colors for the trim being attached. So when you're stitching your really nice evening gown and you're attaching stuff, don't worry that it goes through. Of all the things that I've made, trying to <laughs> copy this era has been the, like, why more? Why more? So much more. They understand that they are literally hanging that much weight off of something that shouldn't hold it. They just keep layering and adding and you start to understand why once things started to lose their structure right around this time, they just went to let's make a sack. <laughs> I mean, it looks gorgeous and it makes sense, but it is so... <laughs> That is so much work, but it's gonna be fun to do. <laughs> so I think when it comes to your Titanic dreams, fitting this is easy. Fitting just the bodice lining, that's what gets fitted, and then everything else goes over that. You just slap that on top. The amount of fiddly shit <laughs> in this is the challenge. The only machine stitching I have seen is on seams that can handle it, like the silk, like the heavier silk satin, the wool. I really want one, but I'm also like, I can't do this much work. That's why you have me around. I know, you'll just do it and then I'll just be like, this isn't fair, I want it, I cannot have it. She has it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is this beautiful 19 teens Titanic era couture, just bam, evening gown, dinner gown that we have now in my little hoardy hoard. I hope that you guys had fun looking at this beautiful gown with me. If you wanna get more details about the construction of this gown, more B-roll, more in-depth photographs and video clips, as well as a PDF write out over how this gown is constructed down to the stitches per inch. On my Patreon, I have the delicious details tier, which is my $10 tier. And for every gown or bodice or petticoat that we look at here on this channel, I do a more in-depth dive into that garment and I put it up for that tier on my patron. So the $10 tier and up. So if you wanna get more of this beautiful gown, that's where I suggest you go and check it out. And now I believe Nicole and I are going to sit here and drool over this thing. And I hope with that, you all have an amazing day and I will see you all here next week, same time, Sunday mornings, and I'll see you then. Bye. Holy f this thing is pretty. You also have just like general, like smaller, more dainty hands than I do. And they're so. beefy strong. Cause... Yeah. Feeling some good rose vibes from the Titanic. I don't know where Jack is, but here we are. Popped one out like chiclets. <laughs> but I was also like, this is like way too good. Like I can't just keep this for myself. I need another body here. We're doing a big rose right now. I like to say Swedish took over my foreign language brain and then it all just kind of gets jumbled in there a little bit and then I, just weird stuff comes out. But the, I'm like off camera, sorry guys. And then she'll come over and be like, look at this weird thing. And I'm like, how did you even notice that? Like, can't wait to edit this because it's going to be like, wow, Abby, like get to the freaking point. But here we are. Why can't we have nice things? Hold on, yeah. Yeah. You know how weird this looks, right? What? Let me back that train up. Wow. It's like, why is my butt hanging out? Probably be calling my curator friends shortly to be like, hey, so I bought something I probably shouldn't own. Uh <laughs> Obviously, I'm not really telling you this. You have eyeballs. I'm telling them, them this. I have performance nerves because she's here now. <laughs>